The pine beetles have moved into the national forest, so they got to come in here and cut all these trees out. I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, okay, so we're back here at the property line, and as you can see, all these pine trees are still good and alive. There's a couple, but these small pine saplings back off in here, right here where I'm pointing, are dead. However, I think the fire got to them when they burned last year. Because I don't think, uh, I think those trees are too little for uh, pine beetles. But anyhow, from this point here over and that way, there's a big uh, pine beetle infestation. Yeah, yep, pine beetles. So, again, here's the property line. If you can see right all up in here, all these pines going right on through the woods are dead. And uh, property line, now we got a dead pine here on our place. There's one right here, dead, this tree right here. And then this one, this big pine right here, dead. And you can tell the pine beetles, see the sawdust at the base? And there's the pine, there's the hole that just burrow into the tree. And uh, it just ends up killing it. Yeah. This is where we cleared with the tractor about a month ago. Kind of opened this up and you can see down the road. Three big pines? You think the pine beetles got to them? Yeah. Oh yeah. Sure enough. Ah, oh, damn, they got our the big pine tree yeah. the turkey stand i call it remember we call that big turkey oh, yeah. right there that pine yeah. every pine tree in here is dead i don't mean to keep going on about it but it's something to see in person now they're moving right on it, the road's right out there so if they cross the road now they're into the big piece of property and that could be devastating so the story goes 
that the gentleman called dad actually he left his business card in the gate lock and dad came up here thursday when we had that cold snap and uh dad called him and this guy cruises timber evidently he's been contracted by the forestry service because they found this uh dead swath of dead pines and uh he's come back in here and researched it and determined that it was pine beetles so therefore he's gotten a hold of dad he's gotten a hold of the property owner behind us which we call the doctor and then on this side of the property is uh the national forest so all three landowners in conjunction are going to let this guy come in and harvest all these dead pines because he's got to get rid of them or else they'll just keep spreading from tree to tree to tree so they're going to harvest all of this which there's a ton of hardwoods out in there but when you get up on this hill right here it's all pine so this is probably going to be clear cut uh soon this will be a big wide open space and then this is the property line here and then they're going to come over see our trees are still good with the exception of a handful like these this bunch right here you can see this one's still making it but these are dead so he's going to come in here and try to uh stop them from going further the forestry service on the other hand which is all this property they're going to stop it as well so we're going to have some activity going on in here yeah so this is all national forest here dead 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 You're going right on so i guess this is a good thing Oh yeah, look at that. All of them. Seems like the worst of it, I mean, you can, it stops. Yeah. But I do see way back in there some dead. I think right here along the edge is a swamp. Because I see dead trees way back in there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Gone, people. When you spend 25 years, going on 26 years, uh, enjoying this property, watching it grow, you know, managing it yourself, working with the forestry service to come in here and do controlled burns, to have this devastation come through here, unannounced, actually. It was, I just saw this last weekend for the first time it's like boom so these things started last year and and have actually killed the trees now and uh now they want to come in here and pulp them but anyhow yeah it, it kind of gets to you a little bit because it's like this this scenery that we're used to seeing all the time and walking and and taking our time and looking and oohing and on and hunting and you know turkeys you name deer hogs everything is going to be coming here and, and highly upset due to the uh, the logging activity. Anyhow, that's all I got to say about that. <laughs> so this is the edge of the swamp right here. So the pine beetles have stopped. There's the dead trees up there. And uh, now we're in the hardwoods. There's not a pine tree in here. Not a single pine tree. If you look at the base of the trees, which I don't know if it'll make it out in the video, every one of them's got a pile of sawdust at the base of it, where all, all the pine trees are dead. All through here. All these holes. 
you can see them. But the pine beetles are tiny. They've infested the tree and cut off its life supply. 